as we have completed developing the word count program and also we build into the jar file now we need to ship it onto the cluster and run on the cluster i am doing it uh, that way because uh, on windows it's a bit uh, challenging to set up netcat and uh, get it integrated with uh, spark streaming and you can actually follow the same steps uh, to any environment you have such as cloud or quick start vm or hotworks sandbox or um, your own cluster it should work without any issues only with windows when running locally i was running into issues and i don't want to waste uh, time i would like to move on uh, so as long as you have uh, cloud or quick start vm or hotworks sandbox and if you are not able to um, get what i'm trying to do here then we will definitely support you okay so that being said let me open sigwin here and also before running there is a small change we need to make to the code and that is adding this ssc.await termination it was not there earlier um, and if you don't add it it will just uh, terminate after one iteration to to execute this code at the uh, interval which is passed here you need to uh, uh, give a wait termination towards the end of the program then it will perpetually run until you kill the session so make sure you add this line of code ssc dot await termination with t capital okay that being said save it whenever there are, there are changes to code just run sbt package and it will uh, rebuild the jar file uh, with the changes we have made and then we can scp the jar file to the gateway of your environment and the home directory you can copy to any location home directory can also be represented with tilde either you can give fully qualified path to, uh, such as home directory or you can give um, aliases such as tilde also um, okay now i am searching to gateway node before running using spark submit we need to use spark submit now because we have the jar file already before running using spark submit i am creating one more session and connecting to lab using sigwin so if we have to test spark streaming we need we need to have a web service and web service can be created using nc-lk quite often most of the documentation say just to pass the port number like this but when you are running on the cluster make sure you give the uh, dns uh, public dns or alias uh, which is accessible from uh, all uh, from the nodes in the from all the nodes in the cluster okay so in this case i am using gw0.itwork.com you should not run using local host if you use local host it will bound to local host and why when the code is executed to process the data as uh, spark will execute by using uh, uh, executed tasks and those executed tasks will be worker nodes not the gateway node you will run into issues and i will show a bit later don't worry if you don't understand my statement i, I will show you practically make sure for now just to, uh, um, to remember that you have to use uh, dns which is accessible from all the nodes in the cluster and hit enter now the web service is started before running the spark submit you can actually test that you are able to send instructions to the web service by using telnet the ip address and the port number or dns and the port number and uh, it is look working fine so we have to hit control close bracket come out quit now we have to develop spark submit uh, sorry not develop but we need to issue spark submit command 
to uh, to run the uh, spark streaming context which will periodically poll the web service and read the data and process the data and spark submit takes control arguments such as class in this case class name is streaming word count and then i want to run in yarn mode so i am using master yarn and then cons spark dot ui dot port equal to a five digit unique number under 65535 after all the control arguments we have to give the jar file name which is nothing but retail underscore two dot one oh hyphen one dot oh dot jar and it takes three arguments the first argument is execution mode which is nothing but yarn client and the second argument is um, the the dns on which web service is running in this case it's gw01.itvst.com and the port number four nines and hit enter so this is how the spark submit command will look like once it generates the tracking url like this let us copy go to the browser and paste it you can go to the executors and you can see that uh, the uh, there are two executors created for this job one on wn02 and other on wn03 when the data uh, is entered into the web service which we are running these have to read the data from that web service and process it and that web service which we are trying to use is gw01.itvst.com instead of gw01.itvst.com if i mention localhost here it will uh, the the tasks which were uh, which will be running as part of these executors will try to connect to a web service using localhost which means some web service on those nodes uh, themselves which is not correct our web service is actually running on gw01.itvst.com hence we need to use the appropriate public dns both while uh, uh, starting the web service and also as part of the job okay now that being said every 10 seconds it is looking for the data as it is not getting anything it is just uh, uh, passing on and waiting for 10 seconds now i am entering some data hello world let us test word count program to get number of words which are streaming every 10 seconds okay now we just hit enter some junk text and you can see the results here. Okay, now we will also copy paste several times. And we will see the output here. You can see here within 10 seconds, I copied four times. That's why each word is repeated four times. Okay, so this is a simple word count program using uh, Spark streaming. Every 10 seconds, it is actually queuing up the data and getting up the word count. Okay, now we will write um, a bit interesting applications using spark streaming um, 